I'ma give it all I got, all I got Like 23, I stay on top, stay on top I do it like it's my last shot See how the sound, see if it works See if you can hear me got these vents covered up so I'm gonna get hot I hope the bikes not too loud it's a pretty nice day out though these foot pegs feel crazy garbage man I'm gonna have to adjust these pegs that's neutral. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta adjust that. I brought the Allen key with me. I'll give it a minute. What the hell? Yeah, these foot pegs had to go down. The grip is insane. What nice people I live around, huh? All right, let me uh, stop and check this. Brought the Allen key with me. So for me, they're up just a little too high. Tighten that. Do the same thing on the other side. Hope you can see this. I don't know what this thing's pointing at right now. All right. I guess I'll chill for a second and see if I can hear any of this. All right, we're gonna try this again. So the test actually sounded pretty good. That's cool. If you didn't know, I just brought um, GoPro 8, Hero 8 Black. That's what you're watching this on. I got the mic all set up. I got um, all the ideas from, damn it, I can't remember her channel. Some girl vlogger, she rides Harley. I think a Dyna or something. But, uh, yes, yeah, so this is my 2014 Yamaha Bolt. I keep checking this to see what it's looking like. It's kind of hard to tell. But, yeah, um, I built the whole thing up over this quarantined um, winter, I guess. I'll, I'll be putting a before and after picture in. But uh, I'm just going to go take it on a little ride and talk to you about what I like, what I don't like. Hopefully these pegs are in a better position. Once again, uh, these pegs are a game changer, like right off the bat. Maybe we'll go by the beach. Taking my feet even off these pegs is just crazy. My god. This might be too much grip. But, uh... The thing is running great. I hope you don't hear me breathing. Obviously, everyone complains about the gauge in the sunlight. I mean, personally, it doesn't really bother me. I'm never really looking at it. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I just realized I forgot my sunglasses, too. All the thing actually goes, though. The tune, intake, pipe. Maybe it just sounds better, so I think it goes faster. Could be a placebo thing. Either way, I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, you really can't see anything on this. I'm not going to lie. I have the visor. I just chose not to put it on. I put this black ring around there because it's usually chrome. I think it's always chrome. So the, the black kind of helps with reflecting that. 
the grips are nice yeah i don't really wear any protective gear you can leave a comment say i'm an idiot i usually wear gloves but i don't feel like it i got the vans grips they're cool they're cheap nothing crazy really wish i had my sunglasses but yeah cool cheap i would recommend wearing gloves they start to get a little sticky after a while um the bar height for me is like perfect i would say it's a little under um, my shoulder height but it's super comfortable eight, eight inch two inch bar or four inch bar two inch riser come on had no problems with the cables they were I mean when I put this bike together I'm no mechanic so I don't really know what I'm doing oh I have no gas all right I guess we're going to get gas I guess that kind of sucks about this bike there's no gauge I think these are honestly perfect intermediate beginner bikes i mean maybe in a, even advanced i understand that it's not crazy power but it's got enough where you can just you can pass people cruise around you're not worried about you're going to you're not gonna be able to go fast enough or nothing like that i'm trying not to be biased but i haven't really rode too many other bikes before before this i had another bolt which i totaled and then I had, I started out on a dual sport Honda 250L, which was cool also. That bike was just heavy and. Do a review on that another time, I guess. But back to the bars. Bar height's perfect. The wires easily reach. I tried to just clean them up, zip tie them to the bar like right there. So when you look at it from the front or the side, you can't really tell. I think it looks pretty good. I wouldn't. I don't want them hanging straight down or anything. Um, cables are Motion Pro. Brake line is OEM. Yamaha stainless. Um, the bars are Zombie Performance Taco bars. Tank custom painted, a nice creamsicle orange, I guess you could call it. <laughs> All right, so going down, what did I do? Uh, the LED blinker, fork wrap rounds. Super clean, cleans up the whole front end in my opinion. Um, got the Dean Speed crash bar, I guess slash highway pegs, which I never use. I never really put my feet out there. Someone suggested to put like grip tape on it, like skateboard grip tape, which is actually a really good idea. If you ever feel like using it, like you can see how my foot just sits on there easily, but. I don't know. I'm comfortable with the mid controls. I don't, I'm not into forwards or anything like that. But I was trying to go for club style anyway. Something like that. Club style, my own style, you know, whatever. Um, what else? Just trying to go down here. Dean Speed pipe. Which is also awesome. Yeah, so far, I have nothing bad to say. At the end of this, I'll say what I don't like. Uh, I went with stainless pipe. I think the stainless just looks cool. There's also a little bit of chrome on the bike, the cap, forks. So, I think it kind of goes. Fucking 
I always fucking do that. I'm, I was so used to six feet before this thing. This thing's only five. It's like one, two, three, four, five, and then five. <laughs> two fives. <laughs> but um, I'm also just an idiot, so. Uh, I got the Vance and Hines naked air intake with the Vital Ventures um, CNC cutout. Little cover on there which Dean Speed made for me. Really not too expensive too, if anyone was into that. Um, we're gonna go to the beach real quick. It's a nice day. The foot pegs that I keep talking about are Los Monkis. Jeez, these things, I mean, I wear Vans when I ride too. Call me an idiot for that, but whatever. These pegs just, like, my feet don't even wanna come off when I'm sopping like this just bites and I'm trying I'm still thinking all right so I'm sitting on the saddleman step up a little prop Sitting on the side of and step up. Under that, I got ECU refleshed by uh, Ivan's performance, which is a game changer. On my other bolt, I had a Power Commander, I believe it's called. And I just had issues with the Power Commander. The bike would just stall out on me, sitting at a red light, all of that nonsense. After doing some research, I took the power commander off, which was also the biggest pain in the ass ever. I will never use one of those again. A lot of people have um, good things to say about them, but I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. But the Ivern, uh, I got Hagen shocks, so raised the rear just a little bit. I think it's an inch. But if any of you having problems with scraping pegs or any of that nonsense, these things are great. I just kind of like the raised look anyway. And it wasn't high enough where it messes up the belt, which is a big thing. You go any higher and then the belt tension gets all whacked out and all of that. You don't have to mess with the fork height or anything like that either. Um... What else did I do? I still have the stock brake lights, so headlight. I'm also I'm gonna be getting a new headlight. The Lost Mink is same as the Pegs. They make the headlights. I'm gonna be doing his headlight LED conversion, all plug and play. Um, it's kind of hard to think about on the spot. I still have the blinkers, rear blinkers also. I'll be getting rid of those eventually. I don't know when. They don't bother me as much in the back. Maybe it's because I don't see them, but... Let's go, buddy. Beach life. It is pretty cool living by uh, all these beach towns. You know, like five minute ride and... You're by the beach. I wouldn't, I know I got a lot of people who are from like San Diego and LA, Southern California area that are into bolts and stuff. I wouldn't say it's really compares to that, but it's not bad because we kind of got country and some nice little beach action. A little dog beach there. I might be moving my head too much. I might suck on video. Well, first, first moto vlog. Let me know if you hate it. This go, this new GoPro is supposed to be awesome, but I guess they they say they say that on every GoPro. They're not gonna say it's bad. Um, all right, back to the bike. I made myself a custom license plate mount because a lot of people do, the, you know, the shock mount, but. I didn't really want to do that either. 
I, th I, I kind of like the, the Fender license plate look. A lot of the Harleys and like Dinas and stuff have that and I just I think the placement is just kind of cool. I also don't like things just sticking out on the side of my bike. Let's see if I can get to the end here and I'll hop off the bike and give you just a little walk around. People also replaced this the Speedo but it's kind of expensive and I've already dropped a lot of money on this bike. I don't even actually know what the total is but it's I bought the bike for four grand. How many miles it has now? It's got just under six thousand. It's got fifty-nine, seventy-one, five thousand, nine hundred and seventy-one miles. Not terrible. I've heard people easily going fifty thousand miles with these things, not a single problem, and keep on running. I feel like I did much more to that, but this thing, but I guess not. I don't know if you guys ever lube your cables, but before I put these on, they didn't come lubed, so I had to lube them, and that was also one of the bigger issues. It does kind of suck riding around here because you're going so slow, and the bike does not want to go this slow. fixer of things, okay. I think there's a Ferrari down here. Someone's beach house, they always just park it out front. Um, so far the only thing that I am not liking is how far the exhaust pipe is sticking out because I'm hitting my leg on it a lot and that thing is hot there's really nothing that I can do about it no more lifeguards beach badges also worst thing about New Jersey I don't know why we have that it's, it's really not cool if I could find a shady spot there's probably not going to be anything Not too bad out right now though. It's probably about 75. So kind of perfect day. Alright. They're gonna think I'm talking to myself. Okay, not bad. So far we're at 12 minutes. I'm probably going to cut this down. I bought a little bag off of Amazon. It just clips to the battery. I guess the battery mount. I also have a uh, trickle charger. Or a uh, battery tender. With the... This, this thing is clutch too. A little USB here. Charge your phone or GoPro, whatever. The part about the pipe is, it's not even right here where you could put a heat shield on it. It's this curve right here, which gets crazy hot. Oh, I got the SoCal Bolt Riders uh, frame sliders, Dean speed up front, like I said. Um, took the reflectors off here. I'm gonna grind this off eventually really can't tell I also saw a video of someone who says this front fender is on backwards so I took that off and switched it so the longer part is in the back which makes more sense so you know as much splatter right that makes sense I guess you can see my license plate but I guess it doesn't really matter 
This was the cheapest thing I've ever done. It's literally just a piece of scrap metal that I screwed it together, but it's pretty clean. I think. Bike needs to be washed. I don't know. I'm not one of those crazy people who keeps their stuff super clean. I think the rear raised the slightest bit is just perfect though. I almost forgot the one very small modification I also did, but very important in my opinion, are the riser bushings. Now, I got hard riser bushings from 310 parts. They were extremely cheap. I want to say 20 bucks, maybe less, maybe a couple dollars more or something like that. But you have absolutely no bar shake. I'm, I mean, right now, you probably can't even tell, but I'm trying to shake the handlebars, but they don't move at all. highly recommend I mean if you have just the stock handlebars and the bolt it's really not a big problem I had the the Baron or Baron H bars on the other bolt with the stock bushings and they were probably they were half the height they were four inches these are eight and the four inches it was it was like at that breaking point where if I went any higher with the stock bushings it would be way too much movement because you have too much leverage up top so I highly recommend if you're going any higher in bar height other than stock, 310parts.com. Extremely cheap, like stainless steel or whatever it is. 10 out of 10 recommendation. Absolute no wobble. So far the only thing that's bothering me is this little curve here. And it's really not even that big of a deal, so I'm loving it. Maybe a fairing in the future. But yeah, subscribe, leave a comment, like, tell me I'm an idiot, what you think I should have done different, what you like, something. Peace. I'm gonna give it all I got, all I got, like 23, I stay.